great idea. Taking the radio show and putting it on television. It's brilliant. Explosive television. Shocking television. This is good television. This is genius. What we're doing is we're doing the radio show on TV. We're going to just figure out the best half hour of uh, radio, you know, and then put it on TV. So we have, like, all new lights, and we have robot cameras in the studio. There's cameras all over the place. Yeah, I, let's see, I count. See everything. There's one on me here. Mm -hmm. There's one on you over there. That's two. Mm -hmm. Where's the one on you? I don't know. Maybe they forgot that. It's right in front of you. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could have missed that. Yeah. For a while, we'll be self-conscious, and then we'll forget about it about halfway through the show. Fred's not even in here. They replaced Fred with a robot. <laughs> it's not right. Would you know the difference? It's just not right. So let's see. There's one camera up there. Oh, Jesus. I'm wearing my regular glasses. i got to put on my sunglasses. People can't... You forgot. Yeah. People can't see me like this. <laughs> can't see me like that. No, the world isn't ready for that. What are you talking about? You look fine. What are you doing? Robin. You want your glasses, your sunglasses. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> All right. I got so much going on today. You got something going on. I got a really busy day today. Yeah? You wait. Oh, this is the weekend you're going to be writing the movie. Yeah, and I got the producer of the movie here today with the writer of my movie. The producer's here, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll introduce you later, but okay. how do I look now? Oh, you look fine before. No, now I look cuter. Oh, you do? Yeah, it makes my nose look smaller to have on dark glasses. You really believe that, do Yeah. You? I can't tell you how annoying the new e-show is going to be. Why? Because, you know, I said, hey, this is a cool idea for us. This will give us a chance to be on in the rest of the country, and, you know, there's a lot of positives to it, but there's also negatives. Which are? Which are, first of all, you got cameras on you in the morning, so you have to look good. Yeah. So that meant... That's a big negative. Yeah, that meant bringing in Ralph to do my makeup. Yes. So Ralph, uh, and Ralph has to pick up my clothes at night. In other oh. words, he calls me on the phone and tells me what to wear the next day, because I don't, you know, you know, I'm a fashion disaster. He knows what's <laughs> in my closet, and he says, hey, put your t-shirt on with this and that and the other thing. Even though... You can't even do that. I no. mean, if he buys you the clothes, you yeah. still can't put them together. I can't. I don't even know how to put them together. He has to label them. So now I have Ralph in my life like 24 hours a day. I think you like that. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I really, really swear to Why God do I don't. keep getting more jobs for him? Well, you know, now that we have the TV show simultaneously with the radio show, I got to look decent because you don't want to look like a complete jerk on television. So the thing is, all he has to do is call my house during the day, leave a message what he wants me to wear the next day, right? Pretty simple. But so he, you could do that so much more easily. He could come over one day a week. That's what he's going to do. That's what he's supposed to do, but he didn't do it. Uh, he didn't do his job. Okay. He could have come over yesterday when I wasn't home, pick out the outfit, done the wash, and then left it. Yes. Yeah. He could have called all day. You know, you're a retard. I couldn't wait. Uh, I was so mad at you this you're morning. A retard. No, I, hey, I, don't you ever call me a retard. I'll throw you right out of here. I called you twice. No, twice. no dude. I don't hear the phone. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Because you're so stupid. I want to point out to the world. Now I've got a TV camera on this idiot. Oh, yeah, calm down, man. No, let me tell you Pull something. Put that microphone in front of you. Yeah, get the microphone in front of you. And this is the last time you're in the studio for the e-show. Isn't he supposed to be gone already? <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to have left. Oh, sure. No, no, Robin, I'm not. All right, let me say something. This guy doesn't have a job, aside from the fact that he works with me. Yeah. So he has all day free. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that now setting up that he premise. He is your valet. <laughs> he is my 24-hour valet. <laughs> Listen, I don't pay him to be around 24 hours, but I know, I know from personal relationship with the guy that he doesn't have a job beside what he does with right. me. I do things, though. Yeah, he does things. He, he does rollerblades, roller <laughs> you know, and he does stuff. He's tape. Right, stop moving your legs so much. <laughs> anything else? Yeah. So anyway... Listen to this. The guy doesn't do anything all day. Now, what he could have done yesterday is come over and prepared. Got all the clothes ready for the week. I can't call you and tell you to wear one shirt. Okay, fine. I mean, this, is not, this is okay. Right, no, right, right, we'll okay. get to that. But he didn't do that. All right, for whatever reason, he was busy that day. He couldn't get over. Okay, yeah. fine. A lot of rollerblading and taping. Right, so fine. And I had to go to the gym. Yeah. So. And brush that one, too. He could have called all day long. All afternoon, when I'm not home, I have an assistant in the house who takes my phone calls. He mm -hmm. calls up and says, Howard should wear the following. Sure. Boom, boom, boom. She leaves me a note, and I pull it, and that's it. 
He waits till late in the day. Now, I didn't get home to my house until about 5 o'clock last night, mm -hmm. or 4 o'clock. I don't know what it was. So I was out from 4 in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm pretty beat by then. It dawns on me that I haven't heard from Ralph now. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know what I'm supposed to pull. But I go to bed at 7 or 8 o'clock. Yeah. That's it. The day's done. So I got to know what to pull. Otherwise, I'm tired. So all he had to do was call the assistant in the house and take care of it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Call, so I call him up. I go, what do you want me to wear? Uh, uh, should I fax you? Or should I? Uh, uh, could I call you later? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Like no. this. And it's like this. It's uh, in a meek uh, little voice. He's uh, all confused now. Now, it's, now the wheels are there. Could, can I call you later? Uh, 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 uh. No, no. So no. I said, okay, call me later. I think it later is a half hour. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't How know when he's planning. How long does it take to think up what you should wear? I don't no, know. No, 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 I don't know. No. But it seemed to be a very big problem. Okay. At, at some point here, can so, I correct you? No. There's nothing to correct. This you're is wrong. the absolute fact. What do you, you, go ahead. You're, correct you're us. Wrong. Correct me. Okay. Correct me. You, you, I called you back. You called me. I called you back. I said, do you want me to fax you with what to wear? Or do you want, to, want me to talk to you on the phone? You said, I'm going to take a shower. I'll call you. No, I oh, didn't. I said, you call said, me you back. You said you're taking a shower. This is what I mean. You said you were going to call me. Let me ask you something. Wait, wait, Why wait, wait, didn't wait, you do wait, it wait, all day? Wait, Why wait, didn't you call Laura wait, all day with what, what to did. wear? Why didn't you call all day Laura for what to wear? I'll tell you why. I'm going to give you the answer because you don't know the answer. The answer is you want personal contact with me. As my wife said this morning, uh, he needs to talk to you. No, he doesn't I can't want to talk to anyone else. He doesn't want to go through That's, a go-between. Right. He wants to be with you. He wants to be with me. He wants to be That's at my side true. because you want to know something? Since I got famous, got, even guys, not even just women. Oh, Ralph is your best girlfriend. Guys want to be my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my, girlfriend. this is, no, this is not my best girlfriend, it's my ugliest girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is, well, right the there. the one you can have, actually. Goodbye. Yeah. Now you're done. You can leave now. Okay, <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Go in. Oh. Get out of here, you idiot. <laughs> I, I, I threw something at me. <laughs> oh, now I feel good. Want to meet the guy who signed me to a movie deal? Yeah. I want to know how this all came about. There's a book in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, David, what happened? You read my book and you thought I was a genius? Is that pretty much it? Yeah. This is uh, David Kirkpatrick, <laughs> probably the top Hollywood executive in the country. Now, hey. how do you figure? Hey, David, give us some of your uh, background. Tell us some of the movies that you were the... Uh, the, the that you've seen. The, no, <laughs> not that you've seen. <laughs> don't hey, insult Robin, that's low. I'm sorry. I don't David. even know you. That was not personal. David and I, <laughs> and of course, Michael Kalamposanko. Uh -huh. the, Kolesnikov. Kolesnikov. Will be uh, locked up in a hotel room. <laughs> with three massage girls, actually, oh. this weekend. No, we were going to be riding. Hey, this Howard. Weekend. Yes. I, I have to tell you, um, I had lunch uh, the other day with an Academy Award winning director who wants to do your movie. Really? Yeah. Are we going to use you him? You can't use his name right well, at this moment. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have a deal in place. Yeah, Howard, you should meet him. Is it Alfred Hitchcock? <laughs> <laughs> he never won an Academy Award. Yeah, no, actually, I know who David... Is it the one I know about? Yep. Yeah, there's, yep. This, there's a guy who I am really high on. And he won an Academy yeah, Award? Yeah, if I yep. told you the uh, movies Robin. he directed, it would blow your mind. This guy wants to direct my movie, and Let I think... Let me think. Oliver Stone, mm -hmm. Kevin Conner, mm -hmm. uh, Rhymes with uh, Borsese. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you don't want to work with him. No, He's no, not no, a no. funny guy. No, no, no. What I offer with this face and this attitude and with this um, style of movie that I'm making is something brand new. People will be excited. It will become an event to go to the movie. Mm -hmm. That Absolutely. is... Uh, and the me, directors David. recognize Thank it. You. Is that Absolutely. what you're saying? Yes. The directors are recognizing it. My movie will be so different, so unbelievable. People will insist on paying on the way out. Ah. They will they want to pay they extra. pay again? This is what we're predicting. That they will say, listen, we see the effort that went into this film. Not only did we, a couple extra bucks. we paid our seven bucks on the way in as a donation. We would like to give you an additional seven toward the next movie. Make another one. Make the sequel as quickly as possible. And let me tell you why David and I are working together. David read my book. He came in and he said to me, within five minutes, I had taken meetings with people for two and three hours mm -hmm. and they couldn't articulate what it was I wanted to do. Okay. They didn't connect with me. I connected with this man in five minutes. What did he say that connected? Who listens? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. He just seemed to say he had the right tone. Were you tired? You just had enough? I just want to get out of there. <laughs> Droning on.
No, in two minutes, the guy sat down and described the tone of the movie, mm -hmm. the way it should go, and the sequence of events, you know, loosely in the movie. So he's a creative guy. He's a visionary. He's not Wonderful. a creative guy. There's a, there's a million creative guys. Oh, okay. Any one of those could have produced the picture. He's Excuse a visionary. Excuse me. Visionary. Mitch that doesn't right. take any creativity. Listen, the guy walks in, right? Mm -hmm. He says to me, I can get you out of your house every day for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Would you turn that down? This is how I visualize your day. Yeah, and you could, <laughs> and a couple of the scenes, you could even be in bed with some strange woman. I said, okay, okay, I'm, I'm there. Uh, yeah, quickly sign me. No, actually, and then uh, the, uh, you know, uh, David. Um, now, how does he see this uh, panning out over the course of time? Yeah, what is our schedule, uh, David? When will we begin shooting, if all goes well? The fall. The fall? Yes, yeah. as in, September? that is correct, yeah. Robin. That is correct. You plan to get a lot of work done this weekend. We better. <laughs> well, we're going to write the movie this weekend and begin shooting on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're looking at. Is that the schedule? Uh, Rewrites on yeah. Sunday, shoot on Monday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> David's convinced me that we can shoot the whole movie on Super 8. Mm. <laughs> no, we're going full tilt on this house. Oh, really? You really we're are spending going? the money. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's good quality. To, yeah, it's going to be a real movie. On film. Yeah. All right. And it'll be great. We've, I already know what the movie is. And you should see we have the whole meeting plan. We're going to do it just like they do in Hollywood. we got big, uh, what do we have, big uh, cork boards? Cork boards, little cards. cards oh. scenes, now, what will you be doing? Videotape. You'll be storyboarding? Storyboarding, yes. Storyboarding. Do any of you guys draw? <laughs> <laughs> in fact, uh, we're on such a tight schedule, I'll be editing the entire movie during radio commercials. <laughs> so while we're in commercial, I'll be so in the editing room. editing yeah. equipment in into, here, into here, too. <laughs> while we're taping the e-television show. We're slowly filling up the right. studio. You never let Michael give, I mean, David, give his credit. Um, yeah. Now, David, David, of course, David, first I'm of humble. all, tell a Robin. I couldn't get any credits out of Michael, okay? Tell him what studio. Except that he was a school teacher. What studio you ran? <laughs> okay. Well, I was, for most of my life, I was at Paramount Pictures. Yeah. And I ran that at one point. You ran the whole studio, Robin. What point? Uh, uh, tell us some of the movies that you worked on. This will better than tell you the years. Let's let's review the movies. I, that's okay. what I Do mean. Do I have this to, Howard? Go, go ahead, okay. Greg. Greg. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. okay. It's hard for me. And don't say last action hero. Or I'll throw you out. Of here. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Officer and a gentleman. Witness. Top Gun. Wayne's World. Sorry, Howard. All right. Um, was that enough? Beverly Hills Cop. I worked the original Beverly Hills Cop. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Yeah. Right. So right. you had the original Eddie Murphy contract. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Contract. Yeah. <laughs> now, why did David? Now, these might be sticky questions. Yes. But I have to ask. Go ahead. Okay, Robin. We haven't signed your deal yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Why did David leave all those high-powered people? Go ahead. To tell her. Go to Reiser. Because I wanted to be with an independent. And tell her why. You weren't fired, were you? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it's a lawsuit pending. Oh, dear. <laughs> Robin, you would have to get into that. <laughs> Spoil sport. You know what? They were Robin, jealous of his talent. I'll tell you, it's really exciting to start something new. <laughs> you know? You know? David, you don't have to answer her questions. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. Her. He wasn't only fired. He's not allowed in California. <laughs> they threw him out of the whole state. <laughs> he's, that's why he's here in New York. <laughs> All right. We'll take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Notice everyone has found the reason to come <laughs> no, in today. No, no, no. Oh, right? come on. Yeah. Ralph got his half hour, now right, it's the right. Tom Chiasano half hour. Yeah, this, everyone finds me as soon as you start picking on them. I'm telling you, I'm thinking in. of using you in the movies, Tom. You're very photogenic. <laughs> Tom, let me tell you something. You know, you forget how good-looking Tom is. You yeah. Know, it is, as you say, when you're with somebody all the time, you sort of forget See, how good-looking they how are. I never forget you are. Robert. Oh, thank Tom, you, Tom. You, you are so handsome <laughs> but the on other day, TV. Yeah. Yesterday, Tom was walking down the hall. He didn't quite completely get dressed yeah before he made it to work yeah and mm. tom was walking down the hall with the top buttons of his shirt on i have hair in my chest and <laughs> he had the you know the tie was like under the collar but just hanging down yeah and i was like oh my god can you, you imagine that coming home to you every night i have never said this to another man before nor are you but you are gorgeous <laughs> You are, a, you are a vision. You really are. With you, if I had his face, oh, oh my God. My brains in that head, 
<laughs> there would be no star. I would have been a movie star 20 years ago. <laughs> You'd be finishing your career now. Yeah, no, now I'd be thinking of retiring yes. from movies after a string of successful you'd romance have, you'd movies. You've already made love to all the most beautiful women in the world. No, instead of my face, I have to come up with a comedy <laughs> to make people laugh. <laughs> this is great. I gotta find something so funny that people will have to suffer through my face. Yeah, I looked at him just strolling down the hall casually with yeah. his shirt unbuttoned. I thought, my goodness, what must it be like to look like that? <laughs> Tom, give me your hand for a minute. <laughs> anyway. Yes. God, you look good in these lights. <laughs> I'm telling Tom you. is really handsome. He's a handsome man. Mm. I hope I'm not embarrassing you. Oh, no, you're not. Yeah. Tom, I've never kissed another guy, <laughs> but for the cameras, I'd be willing to try it. Let me just try it. Maybe I'll like it. You never know, Howard, unless you go there. Imagine I leave my wife for Tom. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a scandal? Boy, that would be a scandal. Ooh, headline for weeks. All right, there he is, Tom Chisano. That's a handsome guy. He, oh, I can't tell you the effect he had on me the other day as I saw him walking down the no. hall. It was all I could do to stay in And really, I should have that effect on you because <laughs> I have a great personality and I'm a dynamic guy. But I, I hate to say it, yeah. I'm as oh. surfacy and shallow as oh, you. Yeah. Oh. He's as dumb as a white lawn jockey. <laughs> oh, now I feel good. Gary, you look great on TV. You yeah. really do. You look really good. No, seriously. You look extra stupid purple, today. Purple, <laughs> His teeth have such a weird glow in the purple lights. They are unbelievable. They're almost fluorescent, aren't they? Do you ever see Earl the Pearl Monroe's teeth yes. on TV? Yes. Your teeth look as odd as Earl the Pearl Monroe's. I doubt that. I swear. I doubt it. Jackie, Fred, Robin, look right now. Yeah. Just, just stay like that. They're the same teeth. Look, the Earl the Pearl's teeth is the same as uh, Gary's. Yeah. What would you rather have? The purple is giant teeth that you could fix or pencil arms that you can't do anything about? You know, I could always lift weights. But uh, why don't you? Well, I'm lazy. You <laughs> might consider I'm ugly. sunblock. You're fat and you still have pencil thin arms. <laughs> you might and you have bad teeth. Look at that. Are, your arms are thinner than mine. Liar. Oh, bull. You have no more developed shoulders than he does. Now forget about it. Gary, I can keep working out. You've got refrigerator doors for teeth. <laughs> I don't think he can change that. Howard, what I was trying to say was his teeth are reflecting so much light, yeah. you might want to consider sunblock. <laughs> no, but what's you weird is, I know what you mean. You've got to go. I'm worried about UV rays. <laughs> you have to go. No, what I'm saying is, <laughs> seriously, Gary, I, I know you don't believe me and you think I'm making this up for TV. We have purple light shining down on your right. teeth. So you look kind of, do you have makeup on? No. I guess you look tan from the sun. Right. And your teeth now, like the lights hit them and they, and they sparkle, mm -hmm. but there's a dull matte to them because they're so fake. Right. And then the gums are like purplish in color, so right. it's very unusual. The white, the, you're a rainbow. You really are something <laughs> to watch. Thank you. Dick, I see a spinoff off of, off of this show. Not you, Robin. Not Fred. Not Jackie. I see Gary as a spinoff. Gary's I, teeth. We have to go. I have to go kick the leprechauns out of the bottom of my mouth. The okay. Big rainbow. Oh, okay. Pot of gold at the yeah, end of your you mouth. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> Filling a gold at the end of my mouth. Hey, don't blame me, man. I'm not your dentist. No, you're just the the good friend that has to point it out to 16 million fans every day. You think they don't notice on their own? Some of really them never even saw me. Well, now they will. <laughs> Saturday night, those teeth Pop, are making pulse, their pulse. debut. No, they're not. I think that means that we'll be getting more G Gary cartoons from all Pop, over Pop, the country. Plunky. Yeah, by the way, for our friends watching on TV, send your Gary cartoons <laughs> to Gary Cartoons, 600 Madison Avenue, New York, oh, New York. Oh, but most importantly, oh, be oh. tuned in Monday morning when Howard has to fork over 500 bucks to me. Every Why would I have to? Well, the Knicks will win tonight and they'll win Sunday night in Houston. Then you'll have to pay me. Yeah, okay. And also, you're that confident? Tune in when Howard starts well, repeating. Repeat you will repeat, correct? You think it's not going to go to seven games? Uh, no, 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 you're right. It won't go to seven games and the Knicks will win. I mean, the Knicks won't if win. If it goes to seven games, the Knicks lose. The Knicks have Hakeem to win these two. Hakeem Olajuwon will beat the Knicks. They have to win these two. Yep. Tonight at home, the Knicks are losers. <laughs> they are. They're just losers. The Rangers are winners. Prepare to, pre prepare to repeat. Me Blah, 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 blah. Just give me my 500 bucks. I'll take it in cash if you don't mind. I better make a trip to the bank. <laughs> yeah, yes, be ready. Be Trust ready. me, you better, since you're bankrolling. <laughs> Just give us the bank card and I'll send one of the interns down. <laughs> By the way, when you send your cartoons to us, we'll show them on TV every week. Yeah. Hey, Gary, Monday morning, make sure all of your Gary cartoons are here. I want to show them on TV. You know, it's a very sad story. Blah, blah, there was a blah, fire blah. in the office. <laughs> That'll be good, won't it's that, guys? It's starting now. Yes. All right, you got to go. All right. You do. Your Pop teeth look plunky. amazing in this light. I know. <laughs> They're hypnotizing. Is that like love talk? 
Like they look at you, you say your teeth look amazing. Yeah, usually it's your eyes look amazing or your teeth look amazing. <laughs> Come on. I've stop. never seen teeth like that. <laughs> well, get out or get out more often. <laughs> he can't he can't even cover them up. I don't yeah, like why would I try? And the dentist's office. You know when they could you walk in and there's just a set of teeth sitting there? Right. Let me see if you can put your lips completely over your teeth. It's <laughs> <laughs> too funny. Hold on a second. Show the audience at home. What do you think? Hold on, I'm, I'm preparing them. Show the audience at home how you lick your teeth when they get dry. I can't. That's what I need. Hold on. All right, I'm ready. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I love them. I really do. That's all right. We won't show your teeth. On oh, TV. yeah, not all right. Crazy glue could keep those lips shut over those teeth. Why don't right. we try it on you first and see what happens? <laughs> you look great, believe me. A lot of people should look as handsome as you. That's true. All right, very good. Uh, all my limbs. Gary Papafui uh, Delabate. And uh, we'll Boom. see you on Monday. Boom. Right. And tune us in uh, Saturday night.